Hey, Rox here. Today I got some gameplay of the defensive ultimate legends that I cared about, right? I didn't really care about Ray Lewis as he's a middle linebacker with like 93 speed. Elroy Hirsch. I'm going to talk about him first before we're going to meet Joe Green in Night Train Lane. This card, the biggest, you know, controversy around him was, was he actually a right end or did EA misread his player stat page where wide receivers used to be called right ends there on like the wing T formations. He still had like, you know, it, it extrapolated, extrapolated out to a 17 game season. I think it was 2,100 yards. You guys saw that in my main channel video. Anyways, the attributes on this guy are kind of wild for an end. You can throw him at defensive tackle if you so wish in some sort of pass rushing situation. Uh, but 96 speed and 98 block shit, 98 finesse move. Kind of wild on that. Strength is really low at 82 for a defensive end. 190 pounds is really low too. It doesn't show up, the weight on the field. Um, Not as much as you'd think that I've run into, okay? He's also got great crutch and traffic stats and stuff like that, so that's kind of cool, right? They give him the offensive card um, stats there too. He also has 95 hit power, 89 zone coverage, and 88 press. So what's nice about that zone coverage is like, if you're like near the goal line or something, um, you could basically like zone him out and he plays the ball better than a lot of other players would if you put like a defensive lineman out there. He also, 81 man's okay too. So quite a flexible defensive lineman. Um, he, he will get bullied a little bit in the run game, I guess. But, like, most of the runs that I see are, like, either, like, inside the tackle. I guess I see some halfback powers, um, some stretches and stuff. And a lot of that's just, like, pre-canned animations. So how much does the weight matter on, like, if he's running a stretch? Because it doesn't matter if you have, like, 400 pounds out there or 190. The animation is going to be the animation. And you're just going to get it too late. They're going to run stretch past you anyways. It's not really the ends getting a lot unless they have like outside stuff and they don't really make a lot of those plays and it's really user based and like the cbs and, and, and safeties that make those run stops against the safety so uh that's that's my point it's, it's hard to say with elroy hirsch how much that truly matters because of the way that madden is coded like it's an irl right like one of those 350 pound like trent williams just pick him up 190 pounds and just like move him right and just like and he'd be on the ground he'd be out of the play but this is not that way especially because he got block shed um, and all that talk, uh, jazz. So, Mean Joe Green, 91 speed, non-themed team. I got the Raiders theme team. I'll probably bring the Steelers theme team up um, to the uh, the big leagues here soon. Block shit 97. But he's a run stopper, so you really want inside stuff on this guy for the 1 AP. Absolutely need to put that on there. 98 power move is nice. 91 speed is a huge benefit to this card, right? Because a lot of times, the way you stop those halfback wheels at like the gun bunch formations is by putting your defensive line in a, in a blitz and in, in a check a zone blitz or whatever you call it. Um, a, a blitz and go back. And they play those the blow, play those routes really well. So like 91 speed, you can keep up with it better than a lot of the D tackles. Obviously, you can go higher there. Like we're trying to talk about Hirsch, you can move into DT. But having the ability to not only stop the run, but also play a little coverage, get to the quarterback and chase down escape artist quarterbacks better than most every other. I actually want to say every other run stopping DT. It's kind of important. So this Mean Joe green card fills a great hole, especially with the inside stuff. I added unpredictable onto him too, so you see that in the gameplay. Night Train Lane. I left naked out here on his own, no abilities, because I went more with like D-line abilities this gameplay. Um, he is basically maxed out though, right? Outside of acceleration and sadly change of direction, like really sadly, 93 change of direction. This card is wild for top end speed, like perfect speed, perfect everything else. He's also got 96 hit power, 97 press. His block sheds, I guess only 83, which is a little bit low. Like you put safeties there with higher block shed, but it's still amazingly decent. Like the only guy on offense is gonna be either blocking him is the only one that can was like tight ends or like Cooper Cup. I think it was like 90, 82 run block um, for like a, a wide receiver. So overall night train lane, everything you want out of a corner. 6'1 is, you know, not 6'3, but it's decently tall. Um, I really enjoyed it. I think three great additions to the ultimate legends to the defensive front and rotation and the uh, DB core. Enjoy the game. I did Super Bowl rerolls for 86s, quick sold everything else, and then uh, for the 86s in the Super Bowl or in the sets for Ultimate Legends. All right, there's my squad with Big Sexy A Rod. And what does he got? Ooh, Cooper, da oh, Derek Henry. All right, we got to lock him down. Cleaning the apartment. Oh, that's boring. Having a Louisiana Saturday night. You doing Freck fans, mom? Ayo! Oh, that's great. It's great. It's great. Play with Dickerson. That uh, should be a good time. Should be a great time. Uh, it like, it's so crazy how much better mud is when they put out like good content. 
These last, like what? This this entire week, really. Has been insane. But really, the last two days. Have been like, wilder than a goose chase. Gun bunch tight end? Wait, what is this? This must be a new formation too. And then he all with a gun bunch? Whoa, dude. So, do we not have contains anymore? Hush! I, also, I think I forgot to spread because I, I flipped that to reset my play. 100 hit power. Thanks, bud. Oh, these guys fucking flipping and snapping before I can make any fucking adjustments. Hell yeah, dude. Nice play. Ah. Jay Crispy. Thanks, bud. Andre 3000 and Stevie. A few more. What are you gonna do? Gunbox switch notification, what I call living? Hell yeah, dude. So he just comes in gun bunch tight end just to audible something else the whole time. Go and get him. Audible the other way. Thank God. Doc. Just, can you guys just pick a play and run it? Do we have to go full MCS in this shit? Doc. It's fucking online Madden. Just pick your play and fucking run it. This shit is too fucking much. Nice fucking throw. I hate playing these dudes. I absolutely, this is the worst. The absolute fucking worst dudes in the world. I mean, I, I like, I, I don't feel like it's that hard to decide beforehand. What does the full cam chemistry slot do? I don't know. I did a gunbox for four years in the den. Hell yeah, dude. What is he in dollar? Motherfucker's in dollar against a two tight end set. Oh, no, I guess this is in tri was that in triples? No, I was in two tight ends. Crazy. We can run against dollar. Watch his throne video. Audibles 50 times just to throw verticals. <laughs> Maybe. Don't let your dreams be dreams. All right. This is going to be Keyshawn Johnson play. Is he fast enough? No, he's not. He's fucking trash. Rogers! Oh my God, he's so slow. Rogers got to go. Right. Well, Rogers with the skateboard has got to go. Rogers is very bad. And then uh, Keyshawn not being able to outbeat the guy that was misaligned on him. Also trash. Rogers dot. No! Rogers, you're trash! How the fuck? Name, yeah, name is definitely better than Rogers. Oh, fuck. Some sort of sick fucking joke here. It's like an out of season. Uh, Dickerson can't even truck fucking Derwin. Basic ass, often injured Derwin James. And Dickerson's getting fucked up by him. Chill on the goat slander. Regular season goat. Couldn't be my regular season player. Keyshawn can catch though. I don't even look at his abilities. What abilities is he rocking? Acrobats everywhere. Gotcha. Ah. 
Nice play. We couldn't get off the double teams. Oh, that's Chad, not Keyshawn. Yeah, Chad Johnson fucking sucks. My bad, guys. Uh, what? Good man coverage. We didn't go nowhere, man. That man had us locked down. Ha 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 ha. Dickerson and Henry? Henry's way better than Dickerson. Not even sure it's close. We get it? Yes. Start the slide early, get home. Right? Start the slide early, add a 11, home by 7. I was home by 4.30 that day. Look at Anthony is good. Back in the den again. Awesome. The... What do you call him? Terminal child? Run! Jump! Yeah! It's more jukebox than Dickerson that's, that's been impressive here. Ooh. Yeah. AJ Dillon, budget beast? Yeah, AJ Dillon's thick too. Thank you, Steve P. Have fun on your walk. Do I get to still get not get credit for daily objectives? Um, yeah, you got after you do your dailies, you gotta win like one more solo. Dre's goaded. Yeah, I love Dre too. I'm really, I'm really excited that uh, Goodell turned me on to a couple small local artist, artists from LA. So shout out to him for putting on uh, Dre. And the, I guess I got one guy from Detroit too, which you know Detroit needs a win. Night train with it. Um, so far, he hasn't gotten burned yet. Uh, ooh, trip's tight end, dude. He was in the pocket, dude. I guess they counted that, that he was throwing to the player. PA boot over. Smile. Gotcha. Oh my god. These fucking dudes. Fuck. Oh, you lucky bitch. That was a safety. You were throwing me an interceptor safety. Max Crosby got home too soon. Holy fuck. Crosby. Up, fuck me. Oh my god, I couldn't get there with my user. I didn't know if I got my D lineman in the game. No, I didn't get him in the game. I did get him in the game. Sorry, I just played weird. So it, it okay. So what happened there was I had my D line set up to cover the running back, but then he went the wrong way. But it's because the running back's route was different. PA boot over. Double slants. How do you read that shit? I don't know if that's even a cover three beater. Shit. Yeah. He caught me on a D lineman by quick snapping it. And that lack of D lime in there lacked the uh, push up the middle of the field. <sighs> Fucking A. It's 
SEPARATE! What happened? Was that Parsons or Mean Joe? That was Parsons. Parsons literally ran away from the ball carrier. God damn it, Parsons. You piece of horse hockey. Actually, I might not want to do that. Let's take a time out here. Oh. Ah, it's Bandano. Defense is almost a non-existent as late. Uh, defense has always been fucking terrible, dude. What, what game have you been playing? Fuck. I might call out... Nah, yeah, let's just run stock. I got no fucking push, dudes. Ooh. Yeah, you nailed it, Randy. Keekly there. Parsons. Tight slots, halfback week. It's going to be like a double. Shit, he actually ran the ball? Yeah, he's going to try and run a few more times. Um, Do I give it a touchdown and then try and run down the field? I'm going to fight him. I fight for every fucking inch. Strategy? It's just for nerds. Did they compare thing and line up again? Uh, some of them they did. Some of them do and some don't work. Throne clone spotted. He is uh, influential as fuck. Fuck, he got me. Dog, he actually slipped past Keekly. This game's about as bad as you can be. How the fuck does Keekly? Oh my god. I want to know what happened to my oh, my quarterback spy. I had a QB spy so that way uh, on the right and left side. The right side was to play the run better. Instead of actually going to where the run was going, he literally ran to the inside or shuffled to the inside. I should better say. God, this game's so fucking bad. Can you play the run on a goal line situation? Can you have some sort of fucking contextual? information you're in a qb spy and the qb is handing the ball off to somebody running straight at you and you run to the middle of the field instead of your fucking job oh man 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 what a frustrating fucking experience boys take the energy from brazil I'm gonna try I'm gonna try Ah, fuck. He knew it the whole time. Mm. Aaron Rodgers doesn't usually throw those because he likes he cares about his interception on the sheet, right? Tom Brady will always chuck it at the other half. Aaron Rodgers, he cares too much about his QBR. That's why my Tom Brady ran through it. I love the way you stay calm with this EA shitter. I'm usually very fucking pissed. And this is the first bad game of the day. Let's get a 1 in 10 off Air Force. Like a 5. I don't know. I don't I don't really know about the Dolphins. 
We're going back under center. But his interception percentage is low. Yeah, I wonder like they took out all of Tom Brady's like end of game and a half interceptions to compare him to Rodgers. I don't know. I'm sure advanced analytics do that, but I, I'm just kind of memeing. Rodgers is a good fucking quarterback. He throws some Hail Marys all the fucking time. All right, if I don't get a bunch of pancakes, I'll be fucking pissed. I'm going to make a mess in this Waffle House right now. Dude, where are my pancakes? Two tight end sets against the fucking dollar? Bullshit. Um, you'll get Flores a seven. Okay. Dot. Chad, baby. Oh, he got caught by Simmons. Almost had the tutty on one play. Smile. That was his user, wasn't it? He clicked off his user and his user ended up making the pursuit play. Damn! Who's 11? Was that Parsons hit us? Dickerson sucks. I hate him. No Dickerson? What do you mean no Dickerson? What are you talking about? Dickerson's fine. I don't think he's glitchy. If that's what you're asking. Thank you. Jimmy! Did you try Hirsch? Hirsch is currently on my field as my uh, right side of the screen rushing in. Oh, that wasn't the play I called. Damn. What happened to my tackle there? My tackle ran under my center. <laughs> Instead of going forward and sealing off the location, he ran into the center, dude. And ran behind the guard to get himself out of the play. We had like a walk-in fucking touchdown. Oh my God. Holy fuck, Clint. Quick sell dick. A little expensive for that, but I like where your head's at. I wish I could run against this like a straight dive. You know what? I'm going to try it anyways. No! Henry gets it! You're cut, Dickerson! You're off the fucking squad, you weak little bitch! Awful animation. You were tackled by an arm tackle to slow you down. He's tired. I have a call timeout. Should have been an easy tutty, exactly, dude. How is he still tired? He's ten ply. He's ten ply. You're right. Absolute Templar. Tutty. Dickerson can't do it. We got to bring in the professional, Cordell Patterson, to do it for us. He even took a timeout. And Dickerson still couldn't catch his breath. Do those goggles, are they over his goddamn mouth? Sad. Sad. 
flip formations, you don't regain stamina. Flipped formations don't regain stamina. What do you mean? Can you explain more? So why Dickerson didn't get season tickets. <laughs> That's why he put him up. They, they put him on the nosebleed section. Stop, stop. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, sweet, sweet, sweet. Three yard line. He's got to fight for extra yards. Yeah, it don't matter. He's not heavy enough. I still don't have a defense for that. Oh my god. Woo. That was alright. He's been fine. Is he getting bullied here? I can't tell. He took on a double team there. He got off and didn't make the play though. Alright, what is he gonna audible to? Trips or bunch? Doubles. No way. What happened? I had one guy in a purple. I had that double flatted. Oh my God. FOMO! Give me the fucking ball! Fuck your quarterback, dude! Fuck this Derrick Henry bullshit! These guys fucking run around, full fucking sprint, full fucking force, over and over, and they don't fucking fumble. Give me that shit. This game fucking sucks! Shit, I fucked up hard. No, he just he's just so fucking bad. I'm at the double flat that side again. I'm at the double flat, not remembering I already put a fucking hard flat there. Thank God, he sucks so fucking much, dude. This game kept bailing his ass out though. Oh my God, it, like. How is that like every third fucking game or half fucking game where they just call gun bunch tight end audible audible like you're playing for fucking money but you're a fucking bum just call a play and run it I trust that you know if you call something unique and original you're going to be better than what you just were all right Try a different formation. Get out of your comfort zone. You see my dumb ass running under center? Duh. Quit playing the same stale ass fucking forms that you see every day. Okay? It's not any better than what else is out there. 